Ruben Lenton and Aaron Hadlow, the world's most extreme kiteboarder and the five-time world champion. We'll take a trip with them all over the globe to the best beaches, the most important stops on the tour and the most exciting spots. Our video diary is packed with action and unbelievable stories. They are on the loose. Here's what happened in the last episode. Can't feel my hands anymore. <laughs> Should be in board shorts on a nice sunny beach. Ruben and Aaron are in Norway in the snow. It's a first for them. Will Ruben's ankles stand the test? Aaron Hadlow and Ruben Lenton. They're at home on the beach. But this week, our beach boys have stranded themselves in the ice and snow. There's a severe weather alert out today. No cars are allowed on the road alone. Our convoy is traveling up to the plateau. This is where our guys are going to learn to fly. In the middle of the Norwegian plains in Haugastol is where Red Bull Ragnarok will be taking place. This is the toughest snow kite race of the year, and this is the final practice. So today looks like a good opportunity to learn some tricks. So I'm just pumping up my nine. The weather is uh, kind of unpredictable around here. The sun is coming out a bit. So I'm going to go over to that mountain and fly. Take off and I whip the guy down and say, Oh, a So I'm finally here. I've definitely got to get a feel for the snow now because tomorrow is the big event and I don't really get that much practice where I live in the Caribbean. Any more questions? Wonder where the guys are at. Whoa, is that Ruben flying down the mountain? That's pretty freaking cool. I definitely want to go give this a try. <laughs> and you need a lot of speed on takeoff. And then just float. I'm basically trying to jump off this mountain and learn to fly a little bit like the guys are doing, but it's fucking scary. Sorry, it's freaking scary. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like a long way down. Your kite does stuff that you're not really used to on the water. You're like swinging around, it's really weird. I guess as long as you land on your butt, you're fine. Woo! Yeah, there she goes. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. That was fucking gnarly. That was funny, actually. No, that was not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, that didn't really go to plan, did it? My snow kiting is getting better every day. It's actually pretty similar to the water, only the landings are a little bit harder. You definitely have to remember that. Boy, Rubes, how are you doing? Looking pretty good, mate. Edge and the puff is so much different than on the water, and I don't know how to hold this barber's fat gloves on. So I'll just start floating around here. <laughs> Woo! This is sick. Yo, Susie, you should definitely come try this out. Oh, try it here. You can take off easier. Susie, you can do it. Yeah, so we found this one to jump off. It's quite a bit bigger than uh, than the one we were doing the other day. Ruben was doing it, so I thought I'd better as well. This is insane. I've been kiteboarding for 10 years now, but I've never gone so high. And 
what about me? I've got everything under control. It's right up my street. I'm totally knackered. I'm glad I took my harness off because it's just too much aching and the sunset was beautiful and I'm ready to slam a few bits. The snow is still there. Check it out. The big day. We leave for the race in about an hour. People who know me know that I'm kind of a breakfast fanatic. Today, Aaron and Susie are also getting my special muesli. Red Bull Ragnarok, this area is known for the windstorms and crazy weather, and it can change like that. So they close the road down now, so we all have to go with the bus. <laughs> Got a VIP spot in the bus here. I had to pay a little extra, but it's a great upgrade. You take stone. Yeah, we made it. Nice. Seems like everyone is already here. I honestly don't even know the rules yet. But first, I should do a check up on my equipment. Yeah, so the wind is a bit up and down, and I'm not so used to checking out how the wind goes in these mountains, but I just think I'll take my biggest kite, so I have the, a lot of power to go uphill. And then when I'm overpowered, when there's a lot of wind, I'll just deal with it. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a hard day. <laughs> so hard to finish. At least once you do one lap, you know where to go and you can deal with it afterwards. Ragnarok means the final battle of the gods. And whoever wants to win this race today needs almost superhuman skills. The participants have to make laps around all five points of orientation. Each round is 20 kilometers, and the race is five full laps. In years past, only 10% of the racers actually cross the finish line. We're here at the Red Bull Ragnarok in Norway, and this is a kiteboarding endurance race on snow with like 150 people signing up. And it's one of the craziest places ever because there's so much wind and snow blowing everywhere. It's crazy, so it's a pretty long race. It's like 100K and insane. Oh deal, so gusty. It feels like it's not just gusty, but it changes direction. Like suddenly your kite will fly all the way out forward because a gust just comes in and then it could be challenging. 110 kiteboarders have started the race. The wind has been brutal from the very beginning, up to 40 knots on the hills. After the first kilometer, the first racers are having their difficulties. But Ruben, Aaron, and Susie are up towards the front of the pack. And now the wind is becoming even more intense. Oh, fuck. So tired. Aaron has given up, and Ruben put away his kite in the middle of the first lap. Only four of the 110 starters made it across the finish line. Susie at least managed to finish the first lap. That was the hardest thing I've ready. ever done in my life. I was so, I was like, oh yeah, the first one's pretty close, they're probably all the same distance. You get over the first one, you're like, where the hell is the second one? So much snow blowing, it's crazy. And then the wind died, <laughs> and I was sitting over there for like 20 minutes. I'm like, no, I can't, I can't de-rake and walk, you know, there's no way. 
That was crazy, but I'm really glad I did it. I'm stoked I'm still alive. This was an <laughs> unbelievable dead mission. But the wind was like 30 knots, like a big snowstorm came by. And then when you come to the top of the mountain, like it just blasts so strong, like I couldn't get a grip because it was all ice. And I don't know, I just had to give up. Like I thought I was gonna die, yeah. basically. I was definitely scared for my life at a couple of points up there. I didn't know what to do. But it's definitely a really tough endurance race and the guys who made it, we respect fully hands down because this is unbelievably tough. It was a good job. See you later. Slamming some beers right now. Boom. Fresh from the shower and totally relaxed. These off the parties have always been my favorite part. Dude, the vibe has been so good in the event. There's all cool people about, like all the snow cars. We've met them a few times at all the places in the room, but meeting them here in their own home spot, like in their environment, is fucking epic. Everybody's super nice and taking good care of the event. And yeah, I love it here, man. In the next episode of On the Loose. Rubens in Morocco. His injury has healed, but will his ankle pass the first test on water? The moment of truth. My first session in five months. Aaron's in Australia, in slider fever. The ex-world champion is training harder than ever on rails.